The dispute surrounding Vladimir Putin's net worth is fascinating. Many would say that being Russia's president at the moment is not the most profitable job out there. But Vladimir Putin has access to over 20 different palaces and vias, 58 private planes, and at least four luxury yachts. To date, Forbes has not been able to obtain the exact net worth of the Russian president, and because of the shadowy nature of Russian economics, some even believe that he is the richest man on Earth with a net worth in excess of $200 billion. But most headlines focus on his high-profile international disputes and subterfuge. While Putin is surely among the most hated people at the moment, I'm pretty sure he finds some comfort in his $1 billion ultra-luxurious mansion on the Black Sea coast. So grab a glass of vodka, because today we are going to look at how Vladimir Putin spends his billions. While according to the official Russian government website, the Russian president owns just a single mid-sized apartment in Moscow, I suppose that's not exactly the case. Technically, that might be true, but Putin also uses over 20 state-owned houses across Russia as he pleases. More than 80% of them were built after Vladimir came into power, and it's quite obvious that they were designed with Putin's comfort in mind. When the Russian president wants some peace and quiet, he prefers his personal $1 billion house located on a small peninsula overlooking the Black Sea near Galinsnik, Krasnodor Krai. The mansion is provided with grand architecture and luxury comparable to France's Palace of Versailles, and it's the largest private residential building in Russia with a reported 190,000 square feet of living space. Aerial photos reveal features like a large courtyard surrounded by massive wrought iron gates, a sculpture garden, and an amphitheater. There's an arboretum and greenhouse, a church and a 260-foot-long bridge that connects the lavish mansion to a 27,000-square-foot guest house. The mansion is also provided with a landing pad that can accommodate up to three helicopters. The interior of the house is simply magnificent. Walls and ceilings are embellished with golden ornaments and priceless paintings. The furniture is custom-designed and gold-encrusted. Inside this lavish mansion, there is an entire hockey rink, which is unsurprising knowing Putin's love for the sport, a private Las Vegas-style casino, and several swimming pools, jacuzzis, and saunas. The palace is also provided with a cocktail bar, which is strange since Putin famously never drinks alcohol. But I suppose when you have a net worth of over $200 billion, you can afford to do something just for your guests, like an additional 28,000 square feet guest house. By now, you're probably wondering where the Russian president works out when he's in his breathtaking palace. Well, in his own private gym. According to some sources, Putin paid around $100,000 to furnish it with top-of-the-line equipment. While his magnificent palace may be Putin's current favorite, the president's title allows him access to many state palaces, state-rented apartments, and vacation homes. Putin's official office is the Kremlin, a fortified complex in Moscow that incorporates more than 15 buildings, 20 towers, and over one and a half miles of walls that are up to 21 feet thick. The building was upgraded for a $1 billion worth in the 1990s. However, his official presidential residence is different. The Russian president lives in Novo Agaryovo. The lavish mansion is about 20 minutes away from the Kremlin, and they are connected by a private road only Putin is allowed to use. The mansion is well hidden behind walls and constantly supervised by security. Unlike the White House, it's completely closed to the public, and there are only a few photos from the inside. After all, the Russian leader is very meticulous when it comes to his security. Putin certainly knows how to live large. His Novo Ogoryovo estate certainly has everything he needs with its indoor heated pool, sauna, some small cold water plunge pools, luxurious furniture, and lavish decoration. Can you imagine Putin living in a place without state-of-the-art private fitness? I certainly can't. After all, Putin works out a lot to stay in top shape because it seems he wants the world to know he is a fit and strong leader despite him being 70. Although Novo Ogaryovo is his permanent residence, Putin loves visiting some of the other government-owned estates at his disposal until the end of his presidency, which will most likely coincide with his death, as he probably won't lose the position anytime soon. The Russian leader is also known for often visiting the Russian exclave Kaliningrad, where he stays at a beautiful and luxurious mansion in Yantar, right on the coast of the Baltic Sea. 
Putin also has access to a government-owned mansion in Sochi that's one of his official summer residences. This, however, is more of a workplace as international meetings are often held there. There's also a palace in St. Petersburg previously owned by the Romanov family and often used by Putin for state events. In addition to these luxurious houses, the Russian president is rumored to have private vacation homes, apartments, and beachside villas around the world in unknown locations. Vladimir Putin is known for loving cars, especially Soviet-made classics. The Russian president purchased himself a new limo in 2018, specifically to compete with Donald Trump's beast. It is called the Aurus Sinat and substituted his previous Mercedes Maybach S600 Pullman Guard. It's paired to a 9-speed automatic transmission that transmits power to all four wheels. The armored Sinat is 21.7 feet long and weighs in at a whopping 14,330 pounds. Like the Beast, the presidential Sinat is a bulletproof and bombproof. This model is provided with special features like advanced communications equipment and CCTV footage aired on internal screens so he can see what is happening around the vehicle at all times. It's also provided with extra wide doors and there's an emergency exit built into the rear of the car. The interior has been focused on rear passengers with rear seats that recline to 45 degrees and are equipped with custom designer downy pillows. There's also a built-in refrigerator with Aurus branded crystal glasses and fold-out tables with leather trim. He reportedly jump-started its design himself on his quest for a one-of-a-kind Russian-built state car. Production has started to make the vehicle available to the public, but Putin was the first to own this Soviet Rolls-Royce. Prices start around $245,000, but Putin's is expected to have cost over $300,000. Putin is well known for loving good vintage cars, and because of that, his personal collection includes a Zaz 968. According to rumors, it's the first car Putin ever drove, and due to his passion, he paid around $10,000 to add a perfect condition used model to his car collection. In 2005, he also bought a gas 21 Volga for about $12,000. This vehicle was one of the high-class cars of the Soviet Union. It became famous when Putin drove George Bush in it during a meeting between the two leaders in 2006. His personal collection also includes a Lada Neva 4x4 that he uses for fishing trips. This car cost him around $15,000. He's also been seen driving around in Mercedes and even a Formula One race car. According to some sources, the Russian president has many sports cars hidden in his garages. As we all know, not all travel can be done by car, and because of this, Putin owns a fleet of planes and helicopters. Rumors state that the president has at least 58 different flying machines at his disposal at any time. Included in his collection is a $20 million Dassault Falcon, which can accommodate up to 19 passengers and has a full entertainment system with soundproofing. He also owns an Airbus ACJ319 for traveling with small groups and apparently owns eight TU-154s that cost between $7.5 million and $20 million each. When it comes to helicopters, the Russian president only trusts the Russians as he avoids going on anything that's not an MI-8, of which he reportedly owns at least 15. The Soviet-built chopper is secure and has some combat capabilities which Putin values very much, especially these days. However, his prized possession is his IL-96-300PU. The IL-96-300PU is a four-jet, long-range airliner designed by the Soviet Union. It's like a flying Kremlin, and according to some sources, its decoration alone is over $11 million with a gold toilet, which costs between $75,000 and $100,000. On top of that, the jet features a meeting room, a bar stocked with top-shelf whiskeys, and a gym room with treadmills, weightlifting sets, and a boxing bag for workouts before landing. It is said that Putin has clocked more air miles in high office than all other Russian presidents put together. Vladimir Putin hates wasting his precious time. In fact, his jet is able to reach speeds of up to 900 kilometers per hour. The IL-96-300PU flew its maiden voyage in 1986 and went into service in 1993. For security, the president flies with a fleet of no less than three airplanes identical to this one. All four aircraft are prepared, but the specific plane to be flown by Putin isn't known until takeoff. The IL-96-300PU can accommodate up to 186 passengers, and the Russian president has at least five of them that cost around $500 million each. If it hasn't become clear yet, Putin clearly has a penchant for the finer things, and without a doubt he has an eye when it comes to yachts. According to his rivals, Putin has at least four of them. This epic yacht is called Rossiya and was refurbished in 2005 for a total of $1.5 billion. 
However, Vladimir Putin's prize to Jim is this amazing yacht called Graceful, which cost Putin around $100 million. It has room for 14 people and six ultra-luxurious and spacious bedrooms. In addition, the yacht is provided with a helipad and several lounging spaces. It reportedly requires $5 to $10 million in annual maintenance costs. Unfortunately, the yacht's interior remains a mystery, as the Russian president pays a lot of attention to what he shares with the media, and, as we all know, he wants to keep his lifestyle as secret as possible. This one's called the Seagull. It's 177 feet long and is officially part of the Kremlin's fleet of yachts. It's valued at over $40 million and has spacious indoor and outdoor areas to relax, 12 guests and 11 crew members at the same time. It is provided with 1,076 square foot dining room, a swimming pool, a jacuzzi, gym, barbecue area, and beach club. The Olympia is one of the few luxurious items the president admits to owning. According to Putin, it was a very generous gift by former Chelsea Football Club president and Russian oligarch Roman Abramovich. Of course, the yacht has all the comforts an oligarch like Abramovich would need, as well as a luxuriously decorated office. After all, running the biggest country on Earth is a full-time job. Described as Putin's favorite and most photographed yacht, the Olympia is also the most elusive one. Its value also varies from $35 to $50 million, depending on the source. What we do know is that the Olympia is a 187-foot-long ship built by the prestigious Dutch shipyard Fiatship in 2002. It's most likely the most elegant one in Putin's fleet, with spacious exteriors created by De Volk Naval Architects and a timeless interior designed by Mark Hampton. It can accommodate up to 10 guests, and the owner's suite is reportedly one-third of the yacht's length. It also is provided with a jacuzzi and a bar. Traveling in style isn't enough for President Putin. He also has to look like he's worth billions of dollars. That's why he spends a fortune on things like expensive watches and perfectly tailored suits. One thing that Putin has and it cost him nothing at all is his charisma. The Russian president, who is such a unique leader, emanates authority, brute strength, and a kind of charismatic terror. A significant contributor to his character is his wardrobe and, as you might have guessed, he spares no expense on his clothes. Putin prefers the elegant style and can rarely be seen in anything but his formal suit. Well, that's when he's not doing a topless photo shoot, of course. His favorite brands are Kitan and Grioni, accompanied by a Valentino formal tie. Each suit is made from start to finish by one tailor and takes dozens of hours to produce. They end up costing a minimum of $5,500 each. According to some sources, his collection of suits cost over $100,000, which means he won't be seen wearing a barrel anytime soon, despite the sanctions the EU imposed on Russia. In addition to his suits, Putin has a vast collection of watches, and this is expressly shown by the fact he has been seen with at least 11 different luxurious brands on his wrist. It's estimated that their total price is around $700,000, but one stands out from the rest. The watch is none other than a true Patek Philippe wristwatch, which is famous for being one of the most luxurious watches on Earth. Unfortunately, it costs roughly $1 million, and very few people can buy it. Putin, however, got it as a president from an anonymous, high-profile Russian who purchased the watch at an auction. When it comes to shoes, his favorite brands are John Lobb and Salvatore Ferragamo. These also cost thousands of dollars, meaning that his wardrobe is likely worth half a million dollars at least. After all, Vladimir Putin knows how to live large. In fact, he travels in limousines, private jets, super yachts, and dresses the part every time. Despite his transgressions, one cannot deny his lavish lifestyle shows his unbelievable taste, high class, and love of beauty. Which of Putin's possessions surprised you the most? Let me know in the comments below. And if you're mind blown by how Putin spends his billions, make sure to check my video on how Donald Trump spends his billions. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.